Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing this uh, vegetable-y dish. It's mostly squash and it's got some onions and corn in it and uh, I've got all the ingredients laid out in front of me here which I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, some people call this dish calabacitas. It's a Mexican dish that's got uh, squash, corn, and onions. I've just always called it that vegetable-y dish with squash, corn, and onions because I didn't even know it had a name until recently. But uh, let me show you what we've got in it and we'll get started. Okay, so we've got a couple of ears of corn there and we've got a yellow squash and a zucchini squash, a medium onion. I've got about uh, 10 ounces of ground beef there and about a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. You could probably use about any kind of cheese for this, like uh, maybe a Mexican cheese or, uh, or any kind of cheese you've got. We're going to season it up with some of this stuff that's called, I'm not real sure how to pronounce that. Is it Magi or maybe it's Maji? I don't know. I've always just called it Magi sauce. Um, it's kind of like soy sauce. You can get it with the Asian food section of your local supermarket. And uh, we've got some garlic salt and some black pepper. And we're going to saute these vegetables up in about a couple of tablespoons of butter there. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is chop up the vegetables. So we'll start with the squash here. I'm just going to kind of cut it in half first because I want to get it into the right size pieces here. So I'm just going to go about maybe quarter, quarter inch uh, slices. Okay, so let's put that in the bowl here. Next we'll cut up the yellow squash. And this squash is kind of fatter on one end and, and skinny on the other end. I'm going to cut it in half and cut the, the big end in half again, just so we can get some smaller pieces. Okay, and into the bowl that goes. Next we'll cut up our onion. And I kind of want to keep fairly good sized pieces on this onion, so I'm going to cut it up about like that and then just separate the layers. I saw somebody use this trick once where you put a bowl inside another bowl, upside down, and you use it to cut, up the, cut the corn off. And uh, I've never tried this before, so we'll see how it works. Most of it's falling into the bowl, some of it's not. Okay, that seemed to work for the most part. Um, there's a little bit of corn I need to pick up and put back in the bowl here, but um, of course you could just use canned corn or frozen corn for this too. I just happened to see these ears of corn in the supermarket today and I thought I'd use uh, the fresh corn for it. Okay, so there's our corn. Next, we're going to brown the ground beef. Okay, our ground beef is browned nicely now, so I'm just going to set this aside and uh, put it into a bowl, and then we'll get our vegetables uh, into the pan to start cooking. Okay, I've removed the ground beef and put in the squash and the onions, and uh, there's my two tablespoons of butter there also. I did pour off some of the fat that was in here from the ground beef. And we're going to go ahead and put in a couple of splashes of this Magi or Maji sauce. And a few sprinkles of garlic salt. This is probably about a teaspoon of garlic salt. And maybe a half teaspoon, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, and so we'll let this go ahead and cook down for a few minutes, and then we'll add the corn. Okay, this has been cooking for about eight minutes or so here. I'm going to go ahead and add the corn, 
and the ground beef. And give that a stir. And we're going to cover this and uh, turn the heat down to simmer and just let it sit for another few minutes. Okay, this has been uh, simmering on low heat here, covered for about uh, eight or nine minutes. I think that's probably about good enough. Um, we're down to our last step here where we're just going to add the cheese and uh, turn our heat off and give that a good stir. Okay, at this point, we're done. I like to serve this over just uh, some white rice. So um, you can just uh, cook up the rice uh, according to the package directions and uh, serve it over that and it's a complete meal. Okay, thanks for watching.